the channel. So some of you asked if I can do like a lace frontal video for you guys. I said sure, why not? Because I love trying new techniques. Seriously guys, yesterday I was about to burst out in tears. <laughs> it was so hard for me to finish this video, but I finally figured it out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you five easy steps to make a lace frontal wig, to make it, customize it, make it look presentable. So if you guys wanna see that, definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna make the knots less visible on the lace frontal by applying a thick bleach mixture until it lifts the roots. Install the hair or construct the wig by sewing the lace frontal first and then the bundles. I use a breathable dome cap, but feel free to use your favorite cap as well as your preferred sewing method. This is one of the most important steps for making the lace frontal look natural. What I did was I tested out a few of my tweezers to find the best one and then I plucked the hairs around the hairline to thin out the hairline to make it look more like mine. And I found that an up and down motion with the tweezer works best. It's the most comfortable since I'm doing this for like an hour. And you'll begin to see the hair shed from plucking as well as the lighter color of the bleach knots. 
I noticed that a few of my knots weren't bleached, but it was fine because I ultimately removed them. Now I just continued doing this until I liked what I saw when I tried the wig on. This idea is courtesy of Peak Mill, in which I used a brownish hair dye to tint the lace frontal to make it fit my skin tone a little bit better. I put a little bit of brown hair dye into a bowl with hot water and I let the frontal sit for about 5 minutes. So when I washed and conditioned the wig, I noticed that the brown color was a little bit brassy for my skin tone, so I used a color corrector to tone it down and then I sewed an adjustable strap into my wig and I made it extra tight so that the frontal would not slip. To prep for the wig, I braided my hair down straight back and to style the hair, I used my jumbo curling wand and some hairspray to achieve these nice loose curls. And I'll put all the product information in the description box. Now this is by far the most important step, although it can be tricky. I'm going to set the wig right at my hairline and create these very short pieces of hair to cover the line of demarcation on my forehead. I think those hairs along with the brown lace, they made me feel a lot more secure wearing the wig because you really can't see an obvious line of lace in the front and I really thought about how it would look like in person or in the sun and things like that so that really helped a lot. Here's the final product you guys, it's so cute and glam and it's not bad for my first time. Obviously I can definitely go in and put some more work in but I think you guys will do fine if it's your first time. Now for the hair, I didn't dye it or anything this time, it's still like a dark brown and the sunlight is like a true brown color. But my Best Lace Wigs hair, it's good, it always holds up, I love their hair. I will say though that I don't think the lace frontals last as long as like bundles because they're customized so much but I definitely say give it a try I think this style is perfect if you don't want to or you can't leave any of your hair out but if you have any questions be sure to let me know I really would like to thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos I'll see you on the next one until then take care bye